Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I will show you how to replace the front upper passenger side uh, motor mount on a 2008 Ford Escape. This video applies to Ford Escapes made from 2008 all the way up to 2012. Okay, before starting to replace the uh, top engine mount, make sure just to support the engine from the bottom, just to play it safe. Uh, most common symptom of bad engine mount is engine vibration. It mostly happens on idle, but you can also experience it at higher speeds, mostly highway speeds. Top engine mount on Ford Escape is located right here. It's this big black piece. I hope you can see it. It's quite sunny outside, so I can't really see much on my screen. Uh, so it's held by a couple of screws, so there is one here at the bottom, one on the other side. Okay, I'll try to squeeze my phone in, you'll see it down there. One is right here and one big screw on the top. Okay, so before you can remove this black engine mount, you'll have to remove this uh, top mount first. It is a good idea to use some WD-40 on all the screws before you start working on this because they can get really, really rusted out, especially if the mount is bad and there's definitely lots of rust around those screws. It will just make your life much, much easier. Okay, so you can start by removing these three 15 millimeter nuts, this one, this one, and this one. And it's a, it's a good idea to get the extension to get a bit more power and it's gonna be just easier for you to, to work. Okay, these are the nuts once removed. Now you can remove this uh, ground wire as well. Just put it somewhere on the side and then you have one more nut to remove uh, down here. It's also 15 millimeter. Okay, this is this nut. It's pretty much the same thing. And the last one to remove would be this big one on the top and this is 18 millimeter nut. Okay, for this one I will use the breaker bar because it's just gonna make my life much easier and I'm gonna have more power in my hands to unscrew this one because this one might be very tight actually. Okay, the screw, quite long one and now you can safely remove uh, this top piece. Okay, next thing on the list, uh, three of the 13 millimeter screws like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, one here, one on the other side, and one up here. Also good idea to use the breaker bar, it's gonna be much easier. One guy's out, and off to the next one. And the last one. All the screws are, and the nuts are very easy to access, so pretty much all you need for this job is a 13 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket and the 18 millimeter socket. And that's, that's it. It's actually like 5 to 10 minutes to replace it if you have all the tools and you know which uh, screws and, and nuts to remove. Okay, the screws and you can now easily just wiggle this old bad rusty motor mount out, install the new one and just do everything in the reverse order. And that's how you do it. Okay, thank you for watching this short video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel you can find lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.